Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. Well, I'm well well. I'm well well today. <laughs> hope you're doing splendid. I don't know if you're as splendid as I am today though, because Mr. Postman came today with uh, what looks to be a turbo, but we'll uh, open it up and uh, take a look inside. Before we get right into it, I'd just like to say thanks to Pulsar Turbos for supplying it. And uh, if you check the description down below, I'll send you the link. And there's a 10% discount as well if you quote. I think it's my name. But it'll be down in the link anyway. Can you do what it is yet? <laughs> yep, this is my new turbo from Pulsar Turbos. Um, I've been speaking to them for a little bit about getting one of their turbos. They've come to me and... They've asked, eh, would I like to test one of them and I'll do a couple of films for them. So that's what I'm doing here. We're going to open it up, we're going to have a look inside, check the sort of quality of castings and the turbo and all this jazz. And uh, yeah, we will stick it in the car. But that won't be happening today. This is just the unboxing video. So uh, yeah, let's get this thing opened up. Can never go wrong with a knife. Oh yeah, they've given me a bail. Ooh, look at that. We we'll check that and that. And Another bail here, is it? Nice spiral wrap. Oh, yes. It's a lot lighter than the whole set, that's for sure. I right, get the uh, snips. These are actually Greg's snips. You must give them him. He probably needs them for his work. Gonna set this camera up and uh, yeah, pull it out of the bag. So here we have it. So clean and shiny. <laughs> oh yes, I like these caps. I was going to use one of these caps for uh, pressure testing, but there she is in her form of glory. Oh, silky smooth. You know what? This is the first ball bearing turbo I've ever had. The first one. And you know what? The casting looks real nice, real nice and tight. No sort of deformities or anything like that. You can see by the untreated cast that it's a nice high quality casting I've used. Oh, let's see, this is tapered. And a lot of eBay turbos you get, you know, these are just left square, they don't even bother tapering them. Um, and this is the 0.82 housing I've gone for. Uh, sorry, it's a 0.83 AR. With a two and a half inch v-band so you can go twin scroll but because this is a smaller turbo than what I usually run um, I'm not too worried about it because if I spill too fast I'll chuck a rod clean through the block oh it's missing off this is the blue words got it <laughs> you got a speed sensor port here this is a port you can drill and tap for uh, obviously boost reference and stuff for waste kits we'll need to do that um, but yeah, the core, everything looks nice and hunky-dory. So, initial impressions, it's a clean bit of kit. Oh, I can't wait to get this beast fed. 
What we'll do now though is, uh, as per usual with my normal sort of turbos, I take them all apart and I measure the actual play and stuff like that and uh, see what we're dealing with. So these all feel equal, equal sort of tension to get them off so that tells me that they're torqued and torquing means a bit of love and attention. Yeah, stainless, stainless bolts, they look decent quality but you can't go too far wrong with stainless bolts to be fair. Let's put this uh, rag down to stop any scratching. It's nice machining, nice machining. Minimal machine marks, and you know we're looking at things as well. You know, the flow of this turbine piece here is—I think it's called the volute. Um, it's all to do with the angles and stuff of how the exhaust gases swirl around and actually um, get imposed onto the turbine wheel itself. Holy shit, that turbine wheel's small. <laughs> this thing's gonna spool rapid. So yeah, this looks like a nice bit of kit. So we have here an oil drain gasket, it's nice of them, and this is an oil feed, ah look they've got a, I don't know if you can see this in here, they've actually fitted a restrictor. So I have my own one, um, I've got some parts here because I'm going to run AN3 lines and uh, yeah, this, this one here actually has a 1mm restrictor in there. And the uh, next stage, what I'm going to do is take off these bolts here. Uh, I'm going to put the camera on charge for a wee minute because she's a little bit low on battery and uh, we'll have a look at the compressor side. Right, quick specs. This side here, the water ports. Uh, these water ports I'm going to use are AN6 fittings. However, the thread here is M14 by uh, 1.5 which is just the standard what Garrett uses as well and that's the same on both sides this year I've got the AN3 uh, fitting and I think it's a I'm not sure this exactly what this thread is but it's the same as the Garrett's as well yeah, the Garrett uses the exact same thread I bought this for a Garrett GT30 and uh, GT30, GT28 etc they're all the same this here is just your standard sort of turbo drain flange. However, I managed to find this at a scrappy of a Vauxhall Zafira, I think it was, uh, like a diesel. And uh, the bolt holes line up absolutely perfect. And uh, it's a nice bit of kit. It's got good flex on it and it's plenty flow. Um, so I'll probably use this and um, I'll... Uh, yeah, use a bit of AN line from here on onwards, but to get away from manifolds and stuff, um, I'll use this stuff because I'm actually buzzing that it fits. Um, I do like to use OEM parts, not necessarily of the same make and model, but you know, uh, as spares. Anyway, yeah, let's get to it. I'll pull these off now um, and uh, we'll check the bearings, the actual plays, and stuff like that, and uh, we'll also measure up the wheels. And again, these are 13 mil, same as the turbine. Oh yeah, straight away, what I like to see is an O-ring. The O-ring around here, seals around here, the whole sets and that don't have it. Um, I just like the idea of having an O-ring around here, just for extra sealing. Um, yeah man, this thing's looking clean. So there's some oil here, this is like transport oil sort of thing. Fuck me that's sharp. Hoofed. That is proper sharp. <laughs> nice. Let's have a look at this housing. So this is this port here. This is where we're on about the speed port so you can uh, check out turbo speed. Um, I'm looking at angles as well down here for the anti-surge. Um, cut that's in the front of the cover. This is your anti-surge cover here, 
and the, also the length of this as well actually changes the sound of your turbo. I don't know if some of you guys have heard of a T51R turbo, um, old school HKS turbo. One of the signature noises that that makes is just generally because the length of this and the, the, the distance between here and there. And if you hear of somebody doing a TR51 mod, it's generally slotting in one of these that's a bit longer and closer to the edges here. So this should make an alright wee noise. Um, yeah, so I'm liking these angles, I'm liking the machine marks, it's nice and smooth, there's nothing, you know, out of the norm here, looking, uh, there's just little additional things, like see the taper here and stuff, the taper on the edges and this smoother taper here and the taper on the inlets here and this loop, what I'm on about the other side as well, you know, because it is just like a an air pump, um, you're looking at the flow and the design inside here as well, everything looks real nice. Um, there's no cracking in any of the castings. They've, re they've, re they've really used a good quality cast. And again, they're no pain me to say any of this shit, by the way, guys. They did give me a little bit cheaper than normal to test out. But they ain't paying me to say shit, so... If it was shit, I would tell you it was shit. But we haven't got it on the car yet, so let's not get ahead of ourselves, eh? Now... Let's uh, measure up these wheels. But by the first things I'm seeing here is these marks here. These are grind marks on here as well. It's nice to see it's on the wheel itself, so the compressor side is balanced. And look at this. This side is balanced as well, so both sides. So that tells me that this is double balanced. And double balancing uh, generally comes around where you're, well it's not generally, it is when you balance the front and the back. Compressor wheel, the full works, full rotating assembly gets done and uh, fully balanced because some, you will find the EVA turbos, some of the, the cheaper ones won't be balanced on the back uh, and sometimes aren't balanced on the front. So the fact that these have gone through a balance test, that's nice. Um, right, so let's measure up the wheels. So when we're talking about wheel size on a, uh, on a turbo, we have inducer and exducer. So inducer is the first value, which is the very tip at the small end, and exducer is the very tip at the top end. So um, what we'll do is we'll get these uh, calipers on a go, and we'll quite roughly measure the top of this. So we're looking at 58 mil, pretty much 58 mil on the inducer, and the exducer's a wee bit hard because it starts at 76 mil at the far end, but it's tapered, um, and that's a good design, and it's tapered to 78, 78 mil. So as you can see here, you may be able to see on this tip there's a taper, and that's all to do with the flow in the design of um, these wheels. So again, inducer of the turbine side, we have 54.89, 54.9 is it? Okay, 54.9 on the inducer, and the exducer, it's a flat type, so we can get one away with one measurement here, 60. Yeah, 60. So. Right, I've set the dial indicator on there, on the nose of it. Um, I'm close to zero there. Let's see if this guy will zoom in. And uh, let's have a look to see the actual play. So there, 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 there. Some of you guys that are into turbos will be wondering why the hell is he measuring axial play? Um, generally, your axial play is um, off your is off your thrust bearing. So it's axial play from the thrust bearing. That's the play that you've got. And uh, when I do periodic inspection, this is one of the things I measure. Instead of taking the turbo apart and destroying bearings, at least if I do it this way, and if I notice I'm getting um, more and more clearance, I know my thrust washer starting to wear down. So at that point there, I can decide whether or not I'll run the turbo again or if I'm going to put it back in again and risk, you know, the, the comp wheel uh, chewing into the uh, 
compressor housing and it was just one of the things I've done um, see with this one here for instance this is a genuine Bergwanner S366 and you can see the shiny pieces there yeah that, that um, thrust bearing wore down and uh, the compressor wheel bit into the um, compressor cover and shards of metal went through my engine so um, it's just something I do to keep an eye on things and I, I, I believe it's a, a good little test anyway so yeah guys, uh, thanks for coming along and watching me uh, blab on about turbos. Thanks for watching, much appreciated. Thanks for all the likes and mentions, the shout outs from folk have been unbelievable. You know, we've got that Samit guy from uh, New Zealand, or sorry, Australia, New Zealand, don't kill me mate. He's in uh, Japan just now, he gave a, a video and uh, part of it is of my car. VHB engines as well, you know that guy from America. He's uh, he's been following me for a wee while, and he sort of likes the stuff I do. It's nice and technical. It's not the usual sort of videos you get on YouTube. Something different, you know. And uh, yeah, I'll keep up, guys. And uh, soon enough, when I get this thing, you know, all sewn up, we'll get a wee 1,000 subscriber video, a wee burnout or something like that. We'll see how it goes. Hey right, guys, thanks for watching. See you later on.